Oh, oh she's still going to be the number one. You're going to be the only one? The only one for now? Yes. <laughs> Assalamualaikum, saya Jove Malagi, seorang breaker fashion, seorang bapa, businessman dan juga TV host anda. You see, I come from a background, I mean, uh, quite quite an old fashion uh, family as well because my family always believe that Business is the only thing that will get to survive, uh, that makes you survive in life. Uh, my grandparents are businessmen, my parents are all businessmen. So when I decided to get into arts, my mom objected. Uh, my mom never agreed of me being a fashion designer, but I'm a very rebellious person. Uh, I know what I want in life. I, I, I did whatever that my heart, my heart says. So, um, saya buat apa yang saya uh, nak dan saya tunjukkan kepada uh, uh, my parents and so my mom especially that I can actually make a living out of fashion so I prove her wrong uh, bagi saya kepada parents-parents di luar sana yang tidak setuju untuk memberikan kesempatan anak mereka belajar arts ataupun fashion ataupun any industry of arts whether it is fine arts dancing or whatever I think it's unfair because uh, kids nowadays they are so exposed to a lot of things in life so they get to actually absorb their interest since early age. I mean, all kids are watching YouTube nowadays. Kita zaman dulu memanglah tak ada, tak ada exposure. Sometimes umur 25, 30 tahun pun tak tahu nak buat apa lagi. Itu zaman dahulu sebelum ini. Tapi sekarang kids nowadays are very exposed with social media, with everything that is on uh, internet. So if they get to choose what they want, parents should give them a chance to try it first and parents should always motivate them to work hard and never give up on what their passion is since early age and they keep they they, need, they just need to keep on motivating them and give them full support whether it is moral or whether it is uh, spiritually yeah uh, and i think being a father uh, today having a, having a kid um, although i have my own empire fashion empire obviously uh, myself and nina we both hope that one day uh, my little daughter uh, janelle will eventually inherit or would want to actually continue our empire whether it is my fashion brand or even nina's business uh, being a beautician and also uh, a teacher yeah she's an educator she, she owns a, a kindergarten so for me uh, we want we would like to actually expose her macam uh, bagi saya seorang bapa saya bawa jenel ke office at least once a week because i want her to see what do i do as uh, a fashion designer so she gets to, uh, to see since young age macam walaupun dia tak faham lagi umur 9 bulan 10 bulan sekarang but she is seeing her uh, my my team you know dia tengok orang menjahit dia tengok patung-patung banyak dia tengok baju-baju cantik because i want her to be exposed since early age but if one day she decide that she wants to be a doctor or a lawyer or apa ni I'm going to support her because I know that young generation nowadays you tak boleh paksa. Ya, yeah, you tak boleh paksa apa dia orang nak buat untuk career dia orang because the moment you paksa that's when they fail in life. Nina is a mother. Um you see I think I'm always right about Nina being a mother because uh, since uh, we were dating, I know for a fact that she loves children. Nina has been a great mother in a sense that she knows how to discipline Janelle. Which, um, uh, one thing that I respect Nina is that uh, she really worked hard on making sure that Janelle have a good routine of her days. Like, like, bangun pukul berapa, makan pukul berapa, time play pukul berapa, time belajar uh, pukul berapa. See, Janelle at her age pun dah mula belajar. I am Janelle's best friend, so we play a lot together but I'm also the bad cop in the family in a sense that because she's with me most of the time uh, Jovin is there all the time as well but of course I see her more I'm with her almost every day so of course I am I play the role of disciplining her um, but also I think once in a while um, she also bullies me so um, I must say that um, I think okay, I'm a loving mom, but also quite strict as well because I need to make sure that her timetable is all uh, on track, and I make sure that uh, she grows up healthily as well. 
Okay, so kalau nak tanya uh, Janelle ikut rupa saya, of course I'm very biased. She looks like me lah. <laughs> I think a lot of people agree on that. But she have got good combination of both our looks. So certain angle you see Janelle looking like me, certain angle looking like Nina. But uh, she is beautiful as she is. I think because of um, good jeans lah kan. Ah, ni perasan sikit lah tapi uh, minta maaf lah eh. Ni good jeans ni, Alhamdulillah she looks good. Of course muka Nina. <laughs> tak adalah. I think uh, it's a mixture of the two of us. Uh, I feel that I think babies can they keep changing. So when she was born, she doesn't look anything like me. Now she starts to look like me. Uh, and some people say like Jovian, some people say like I. So we agree that she looks 50-50. Ada lagu? Gang? Gang? Okay. <laughs> okay, alright. All the men will have one pair. Oversize, oversize semua. Lepas tu, uh, okay. Triple S, kasut. Kasut. Uh, kasut, sneakers. Dia punya logo N. Okay. Okey, orang Malaysia buat kasut juga. Okey. What's Datuk's favorite uh, international brand? Uh, Louis Vuitton. Okay. Uh. Datuk, what's Datuk's favorite fashion brand? Uh, Chanel. Yes, correct. <laughs> okay, uh, what's Date's favorite shoe type? Mm, stilettos? Not really, because I don't wear very high heels. Okay. <laughs> she, uh, Jelan uh, says you're lying. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Yang, you're on my side. Girls. Okay. Um, okay, he likes sports shoes, so he's a, a collector actually. Yeah. Sneakers, yeah. yeah. Sneakers. Right, okay. Uh, Berapa size kasut Date? 36. No, after pregnant, 37. Oh, 37. <laughs> you were size 7. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that, uh, okay, Datin, what's the most expensive item that Datuk bought recently? His car, of course. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Datuk, what's her, 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 her most expensive item that she bought recently? Uh, collection of handbags. Yes, of With course. The S. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Datin, what's uh, Datuk punya go-to outfit? Um, okay, he likes to wear now oversized t-shirt and jeans and his sneakers. Okay, uh, Datuk, Datuk, um, Likewise, oversized uh, blouse and then pants and also comfortable shoes. Yes. Mm. Uh, Datuk, kalau item ataupun uh, item yang memang Datin takkan pakai, most hated outfit, apa kaya dia? Most hated outfit for her would be anything that is too tight around her tummy. Yes, correct. <laughs> <laughs> Apa sama to tight around the tummy because uh, we can see <laughs> daddy's body. <laughs> Thanks to her. Yeah? Okay. Um, what's Datuk's favorite local brand? Jovian Mandagi. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have a choice for that? <laughs> Jovian Mandagi. <laughs> okay. Um, kalau fashion icon pula, siapa fashion icon Datuk Datuk? Mak, um, I think right now because they suka all these streetwear, so he likes uh, Kanye. Mm. Okay. But yeah, you but, do like him, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, she's she's very ladylike, so I think she likes uh, Audrey Hepburn. Yeah. yeah, simple and classic. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Coco Chanel. Alexander McQueen. Drama. Hmm. Tuanku Sultan. <laughs> Baju-baju pemain suri lah dia. Balenciaga. Hmm. Oversize. Daddy shoes. Daddy shoes. Tots. Fanny pack. To the front and Balenciaga. Niloka. Hmm. Tudung majestic. Feminine.
Sometimes on Instagram, I see that uh, there's a bit of bitterness in a sense that people are not happy. I mean, Alhamdulillah, Janelle has a very, very nice followers. They're so loving, they love her. They've never met her, they don't even know her, but they're so kind towards her. But I see like, sometimes other babies punya Instagram, like they get attacked. So some people can be very bitter and um, I don't know, I, I don't want to use bad words, but they're just not very nice people. So I hope that Janelle doesn't have to go through that because uh, now she's a baby, so she doesn't understand anything but when she gets bigger so if possible of course lah kita pun tak nak lah tengok anak kita kena attack on things yang macam tak logik kan so I really hope that um, you know people will be nice towards her in the future that's the only thing I'm worried about but other than that I'm quite happy because you see bila orang write nice things about your baby that is doa and Janelle gets that a lot every day and I think that's how she grows up healthy she grows up happy it's also doa from the people on her Instagram